Hello, everybody. Um, so today I am honestly I am having a bit of a down day, but the days you're feeling down are the days that you need to make yourself look the best, look good, feel good, right? So, also, though, on some of the days that we don't feel the best, us ladies, um, you don't want to be messing with your hair or, like, spending all day just messing with stuff. So, um, what I have done today is I have a lovely wig to show you. Oh, first, I want to show you the outfit, model the outfit. So, I bought this january of 2022 on amazon this is the model um i think it's it's really pretty um you can kind of like sex it up if you want to take this out and lower the strings if you want to kind of do the more church girl thing you could do all types of things with this put it in a bow to kind of cover the boobs I like it because it's versatile. Um, you can put a little belt around here. Um, and I just like it because it's one piece. It's not too hot, not too cold. Um, something you can definitely look cute in. But the highlight of today is this Freetress wig. And what actually inspired me to get this was another video done by a uh, YouTuber who had said she had kept this synthetic wig for three years and it was still looking good. So today I'm not going to use any glue. I'm going to show two different methods that I use to quickly install a wig when I'm on the run. So I just wanted to show you this is how the wig looks when it comes out of the packaging. It has the little free trust thing here. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful wig. I'm going to actually go ahead and um, just to give you some time look at that you know they always show the videos with the hair shake and it shakes naturally um the inside of the wig it is a t-part but what i really like is it has this elastic piece in here um so it has this elastic band in there um and this was 36 dollars. it is still available it hasn't shed at all there's no shedding um, so, uh, yeah, I just think that so far everything looks so good, but we don't know until we get it on our heads. You know, every wig looks different on every other person's head. I am going to take a few pictures of it just before pictures. You always want to kind of do this with your wigs, um, especially if they're like from Amazon, um, before and after, just in case, um, so it is the T part, um, so just in case it, you know, were to have issues, you want to say it came in looking like this and two days later it looked like this, evidence. So um, I don't give fake Amazon reviews, I am not by any means um, uh, hired by Amazon, in fact, I feel like I keep them going. Uh, place is right down the, sh the street from where I live and I'm constantly uh, buying their stuff like a crazy person so um, yeah these wigs are um, pretty good so all right the way I'm going to show you to install this so first with this little Everybody has a different preference for cutting the lace. Um, and also everyone has a different preference about, I also say before you decide that you like it, since we are going to have a wig cap on, um, just like keep 
the tag if you can. So for example, this one, we can kind of um, untie. It has a tie on it. Um, I would just like untie that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this, so I'm going to cut it off. Um, but if it's a wig that's looking iffy, um, keep as much of like the parts as possible. Don't start um, taking it apart until you know that you like it and it's going to last you more than a day. Well, some wigs you might buy for a day, though. So I am a little bit more organized than before. So I have all of my wig supplies in a box. So what some people do is the ball cap method. I'm pretty sure there's a million videos out there on how to do different types of ball cap methods. Um, but what there's not a ton of videos on there are, first of all, I love these. If you like baby hairs, there's these baby hair tattoos. These are available on Amazon as well. Um, I swear I'm not paid by Amazon. Um, those I do pretty much like, but I've kept them for a little too long. And um, they are starting to kind of like, uh, what's the word? Um, they stick too much in some parts and not enough in others so like i said i kind of had a rough night last night there was a little bit of drama and um i apologize for looking crazy but let's see if we could do something about that and just cheer up my day okay here we go. Okay, I'm just going to put this other little, I bought this other little contraption at five below. It's supposed to be a tripod, but like these would have to be equal for it to be a tripod. So I don't really understand how all that's going to work. And it <laughs> doesn't stand up. So <laughs> I'm always buying cheap equipment. I guess you get what you pay for. Anyways, okay. So the first easy method that I like to do is take my hair, put it back like this. Um, if you have, um, see, there goes the tripod falling. I wasn't recording anything on it, but. It fell in two seconds. Get a little bit of gel. It can be cheap gel because your hair isn't going to be seen, especially since I want it jet black. Um, so we're going to transform me today into a Kim Kardashian look alike. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. But um, let me get this here. Okay. All right, so you have your hair slicked back. Um, if you really want to get into it, you can like do braids and sew it up. I take this up here. Um, I've tried braiding it. Just basically anything that gets the hair as flat to the head as possible. Um, now, I actually have kind of shied away from the ball cap method recently myself and prefer this method. I either do this or I'll show you the second one. Okay, so we're going to take a um, 
these are usually free. They usually come with the wig oftentimes. Um, what I like to do is, I don't want these particular ones because I haven't tied it yet. Um, it's kind of small as well. This one I've, no, I haven't tied this one either. Okay, so I like to tie the very top, which we can cut off. Um, so I'm just gonna tie the top. It's, it's like a netting versus the bald cap. Um, and pretty sure, okay, so. There we go. I get this on. Now, this one is not extremely tight, as I was hoping. Um, but there's two methods you can use. So, uh, method one, is putting this on, and this is my absolute favorite. Um, there is, and I know I have to have it somewhere, um, kind of, there is like a uh, velvet strap that kind of comes with. Um, it's also, um, these are called um, wig, bonding i'm gonna have some like wig uh, wig grips excuse me this is a wig grip i prefer this one as you see it's like much grippier um and if you really want a grip you can put two um okay so here's my wig i haven't cut the lace off yet um some people cut the lace off before, some people cut the lace off after. Let's put it on before and see what it looks like. This is a beautiful wig. I actually prefer um, for just going out. This fits perfectly. I prefer sometimes if I'm doing my makeup to keep the lace on and it covers as you can see, I mean, it's, you can see a little bit of my hair, obviously. You can kind of pull that down. I mean, but it for, so I can pull this down here. I mean, I could put it in a ponytail um, and almost just leave that much out. This is a gorgeous wig. This is like five out of five wigs. So this is with the lace still on. And, um, so, like I said, I, I like to do my makeup. Um, obviously, right now, I look kind of strange, like a Halloweenish almost, with my extremely, extremely white skin and um, just, uh, like, uh, the black wig. So... What I'm going to do is do some makeup as well. Um, if you care to watch that, go ahead. I'm going to continue. But this is like, so this is the wig. Um, and then um, the second way would be to use the velvet. Um, I thought I knew I had one. I did. Um, I've done quite a bit of cleaning. I haven't seen it. Um, so I apologize for that. I just don't really use them that much anymore. <clears throat> Maybe they're in my box of brushes. I'm trying to think. No, that's just another bald cap. Um, so, okay, well, I can always show it on another video. Um... But this is the wig grip. I really like this. Look at how fast that was. That's so much faster than doing all of that. You can get an eyebrow cutter to cut this off. Um, some people, like I said, prefer to do it before. I'm going to cut a little bit right now. 
so some of those of us can see what it looks like. Um, if you don't want to get your wig dirty, and then I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. Um, but um, let's do some makeup. Okay, how pretty can we get? All right, so another, a lot of these wig companies will send you some false lashes. Um, these are like one of those things that you have the hardest time kind of perfecting. Well, at least I did, but then once I perfected it, it was good to go. Um, so this is the wig in a Now, the biggest thing with synthetic wigs is don't wear it to bed. And if you do, wear something over it. I might as well just cut the lace off because at this point it's practically obvious. Not, I mean, it's, it's a lace front wig, but it doesn't have like a ton of lace. So um, that's why I'm going to cut it off. Normally, I would kind of leave some of it on if I was putting makeup on. Um, and since I'm not going out, I'm not going to do the tattoos, but I would show those in another video as well. Um, so we're just going to cut that. Oh, I cut a little bit more off. Whoa, way more off than I wanted to. Let's see if there's any way to fix that. Oh, it wasn't actually as much as I thought. Okay. It looks like a lot, though. I guess it's not. Um, but then, when you're doing your makeup, if you don't keep that lace on, and if you are using glue, you want to get something like this to um, have it also like a silk scarf, but I don't feel like going to fetch it from the bedroom right now. So here we go. Um, I am going to do some older eyelashes. I've had these for a while. These were came in like a big, huge pack from Amazon. And um, I'm going to surprise my son's just getting home from school, so I'm going to surprise him. He's not going to know who I am because my hair is usually not this dark. Okay, glue. I need glue. I guess I'm going to use Kiss Lash Adhesive today. I don't know. I like... I do like this one, but it doesn't always work out that great. I have these metallic ones that sometimes work even with non-metallic um, eyelashes. So here we go. And you do want to give that some time to dry. That's the biggest thing with these. Um, with these um, eyeliners, uh, or excuse me, these eyeliners with the fake eyelashes, 
is give like people think that they're going to be ready right away and you actually have to let them dry for quite a minute to get their full like full on stickiness so to speak and i like to have a q-tip nearby because they usually somehow manage to get into my eye um so here we go Okay. See how, it, okay, so this one, now I'm gonna put this here. So this is the magnetic one. And I'm just gonna wait a minute. Um, to grab a little bit of makeup here and I guess we can do I love these boxes because <laughs> these are old school um I've had them for a while but they're still good um and so it shows you how to contour I like them. So prep one, under eye. So it shows you the lines under the eye. So this is one. It's going to go under my eye. I'm just going to do this one still waiting. Okay, so that is step one. Let's see if my eyelashes are gonna stick now real quick before I go on to step two. Okay, forgive me, uh, let me get, do I have my, yes, the mini mirror is here. Okay, so that stayed on pretty good. And number two. in my directions. Okay, step two, brighten and prep. I actually, I like to um, put a little bit of concealer on top of my eyelash, like right up here as well.
Okay. Step two, brighten. So step two is going to be brightening. I haven't used these in a little while. I haven't put on makeup in a little while. So um, what I used to mistake was that I hoped people would see my inside beauty and not just my, this little light is supposed to be providing me with some type of, I don't know, nothing apparently, but, um, it's, but I used to think people would just see like my inside beauty and it didn't really matter what I looked like. Not that I was ever ugly, but it was just kind of like throw on clothes, throw on makeup. And today it seems like people just, especially with social media, will criticize people for everything. And some people really draw in on that criticism, um, but others don't. And um, I would recommend to anybody who's like struggling either with a significant other um, that is, you know, comparing man or woman. It's not just men, you know, that look online at people. Women do too. Um, and, um, I would recommend channels like, uh, Dr. Um, so I'm shaking up. I'm not really going to use the last two steps on here. Um, <clears throat> So I have a channel that I recommend, Dr. Ramini, and she talks about um, narcissism versus narcissistic personality disorder. And she talks about the signs, because a lot of times um, the signs of these disorders um, are not what you would think. Like people think of like the narcissist as mean, mean, mean. Actually, they're often charming. Um, Often you feel a connection with them right away. I'm just bringing this up because um, these are some of the problems I was having um, as of late. And it seems to be I attract these people into my life, um, probably because I tend to not like a lot of like boring things. I like a lot of excitement. And thus, um, the more exciting people tend to be sporadic people, um, and that can work, but it can also have personality disorders associated with it in people that have grown up in places that are um, not consistent and consistency for children is very important. So it's awesome when we're old to have fun and go out and go backpacking last minute. And I have stories of those that I can tell for hours, but as we get older, um, you know, with our kids, you want to make sure that they know something is consistently there for them. Even as adults, like when you come home, you want to know that your home is your sanctuary, not that you're going to be fighting with a significant other. Um, I've even noticed that people seem to think going through each other's cell phone is an okay um, thing to do. It's not. It's not healthy in any way, shape, or form. Um, and it has become like a uh, healthy, I guess, because the media, so many people do it that it's like, oh, everybody's doing it type of thing, but it's not, it's not healthy. If there's no trust in a relationship, you should not be in that relationship. Um, so just wanted to kind of put that out there while I'm doing my beauty. And um, it's not like I'm getting these tips from nowhere. Um, I've mentioned I started wearing wigs because of my um, uh, pituitary tumor, which results in alopecia. And um, 
So I worked mainly in psych. Of course, I took other jobs. Um, most nurses have two jobs, um, nursing, nor doctors, nor does most people do most jobs have the luxury that is, you know, thought of, uh, I guess, that most people associate with it. Um, it's a very stressful life for most people. Um, but uh, often what makes it worse is your coworkers, not the patients. Um, you signed up to help people dying. You didn't sign up to have like high school like drama going on at work. Um, but um, it seems that high school like drama has just come into almost every facet of life of adults for some reason. Um, uh, I think this light is actually making things worse. Is that a more normal look? I can't tell. I'm almost about to take this. I'm gonna take the rest of that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take the rest of this off. And this is just an eyebrow cutter that I'm using here. So I would rate this wig like 10 out of 10 for sure. I mean, five out of five stars, 10 out of 10 stars, whatever your rating system is. Um, I think it looks great. I think it flows really naturally. Um, I haven't, I didn't pluck it. I didn't do anything like that. I mean, a lot of people pluck the hairline to make it more natural. Um, honestly, I think it looks pretty natural on its own. Um, you know, it could do some plucking will make, uh, you know, people pluck the, you can put it on a head and pluck it. But I wanted to show a quick way to get ready. And this is it. Also, um, don't forget with your fake eyelashes to always put on a little mascara. That makes them look a lot better. Um, so, yeah, that makes those eyes pop. And if you're being lazy, lazy, like I am today, um, you can also, one of my favorite kind of tricks, instead of going through the whole eyeliner routine, is to do like, I'm sorry, not eyeliner, eyeshadow. So, um, of course, I look absolutely nothing like Kim Kardashian, <laughs> but I have the black hair. Um, so instead of doing my shadow, I have um, so many amazing liquid eye shadows. And that was kind of what I started with when I first started doing makeup because I didn't know what I was doing. And um, I've shied away from it a bit, but it can still really like spruce up an outfit. You almost don't need to, some of them, if depending on what kind they are, you can almost just throw them on. Um, these ones I am going to uh, just brush out a bit. Um, and I would love it if you would follow me on um, Instagram. And... Um, Follow me on TikTok, which was just made like a day ago. Um, and I will include those. How do we think that looks? Um, I think.
think it looks pretty good. Um, so anyways, I am going to end my stream. Um, I might edit it a little bit. I hope you enjoyed it. It looks like nobody watched it. That's all right. Um, thank you so much and have a great day.